Okay, welcome back to another episode of Fallout with myself, Nox one and we're here, we've made it to Diamond City. Piper, you're back. So let's, uh, let's check out all this stuff. Dogmeat seems like he's interested in something. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. Now I gotta head into the office. And you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <laughs> End of conversation. See you later. Nice. Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Hmm. Hey, there's a bar in the old theater district that's for waiters only. It's combat zone. I stay clear if I was you. The combat zone, eh? She must go out. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Yes. <laughs> oh, I can sell him some of this stuff. Excellent. Cool. Uh, yes, enjoy. Alright, sweet. There are some shops here. What's up? I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Keep calm. I'm standing still. That's exactly what a synth would say. But I don't know. Are you really uh, human? Uh. Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a. Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. Nah, no funny stuff, Let's see. What you got? Everything you need. Um. Okay, I'm going to break all these weapons down. Uh, you can have this suit. And... Wait, leather right leg. Leather right leg. Right, uh, okay, yeah, whatever. You can have that as well. Uh, unless, of course, you've got some sexy, sexy combat armor that you'd be willing to part with. Which you don't. Okay, no worries. Bobby pin. Okay, that's all junk. Let's, um... Oh yeah, we can get rid of this Vault Tech lunchbox. And these mods I'm not going to need, so that's cool. Get rid of these 38 rounds. Fusion cells. Alright, we're good. And... Um... Let's get enough to just round that out. I'm really sort of looking for um yes. armor. Hey. Hey, it's the new girl. Am I right? Yeah. I'm the new girl. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. Let's see what you got. Self-defense at its best. Okay, do you sell... Yes, you do, and you sell metal armor. Sweet. Okay. Uh, let's just go for the chest piece to begin with, and because he's getting that one, I'm going to give him my one. Where is it? There you go. Uh, metal left leg, metal right leg. How much are these? 40 and 40. Okay. Uh, same for these, so left leg... Where is it? Right leg... And has he got any... No. Okay. Alright, sweet. Alright, let's uh, break some of this stuff down. And can we improve anything? I'm loving that sniper rifle. That thing's great. Um, what about these? Okay, I need to sort of all sorts of oil and stuff. And actually we can get the hardened or we can get powerful receiver. Uh but we do need some bits and pieces, so I'm gonna leave that for the time being. Can we put the silencer? Oh no. Gun nut level two. Okay. 
Can we do anything with this yet? Blacksmith level 2, so no. We could have a better shotgun. I mean, why does it cost stuff to make a sword off barrel? Are we making the barrel separately and attaching it and keeping the short barrel? I guess that's how it works. Um, I think I'm just going to go for this hardcore receiver for this one. There you go. I'm going to rename this one uh, Boomstick because I have no creativity whatsoever right now. Uh, I'm going to rename this Stabstick for the same reason. Nice. Okay, where's the... Uh, is there anything we can do to this? Um, we need armorer, rank 1, but that's fine. Nothing for these guys. Uh, we can... We can do really sort of non... Non-essential things to it. Like, I'm going to be skipping over those anyway, so no point. Let's have a look. Um, I mean, it's still not great. I'm really sort of looking forward to the day I can get some combat armor. Protection from Commonwealth weaponry. Don't let down the home team. Buy a spotter. Nice. Let's go check out the clothing shop. See if there's any underclothes that might be worth getting. Uh, hello. Have you been here before? No. Huh? First time. Thought so. Some ground rules. This isn't a charity. Clothes are for sale if you have the money. Otherwise, the door's right there. No mooching. Got it. Good. Now that we understand each other, welcome to Fallon's. Happy to show you everything in stock. Sure. Let's take a look. A paying customer. Finally. Okay, she's got some good stuff, but I couldn't have afforded that if I wanted to. Army fatigues, have you got military fatigues? No, you've got a military cap. Ah, the army ones aren't as good, but I will take them. And because of that, you can have my... What is it? Spike armor? Yes. Cool. Military cap perception versus what's the fedora give you? Luck. Uh, okay, I could use all the luck I can get right now, so let's do that. I'm fatigued, sweet, and we can upgrade these later. Right now, it's not going to matter, but yeah, we'll upgrade these. Let me just check to see what I need for this. I think ballistic fiber and what have you, but we'll see. What have you done with the real rock? Whoa! Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a sin. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down Whoa. now! He's a sin! He'll kill us all! Whoa! Oh! Okay, show's over. There are no sins in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Yeah, I mean, uh... Yeah, that like me. Hey, he pulled a gun on me. My own brother. Uh, what happened? I'm I'm not a synth. I I told him. I I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I uh, I need a minute. Jeez. Okay. Whoa, 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 no, come on, everybody, back to your shops. I've got some buying and selling to do. You can't be d distracted like this. Yeah, that guy who just said that. You heard him. Come on. There's bartering to be done. And you, move. Oh, that's weapons. I want armor. Army fatigues, lining mod. Okay, so when we... When we get up to this point, this is the one that I think we want. But that's going to take ages. Jeez, I didn't realise it was... Okay. Uh, 
Well, at least we look slightly more presentable than we have done in the past with our Raider-esque armor, so that's cool. I'm very happy about that. So let's go explore Diamond City and check out what's going on. Um, the Silver Shroud needs you. Okay. Now, Mayor McDonough said don't approach security about missing people, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a go. I'm going to see what happens when we do. Is there anyone in here I can just talk to? No funny business. Yeah, no, there'd be no funny business from me. Who's who's this guy? He's in unique looking armor. I'm telling you, it ain't just a story. University Point, that settlement on the coast, wiped out by sins. Okay. Can I talk to anyone in here or are you just gonna use a drink? Dug out in has got some cold ones. I don't think I've ever been back here. This is uh this is new. Nice. Love what you've done with the place. A beer and my slippers after this shift. That's all I ask. Is this like an office office? No. Oh. <laughs> they said the old Boston Commons got some crazy bird living in it. Or something. Okay. I love how if you just hang around these guys and talk to them, they will update your map for you. That's pretty neat. What is this? Is this the evidence locker and I can just walk in there? Probably best I don't do that, really. And you got no one in jail, so why aren't you... If there's no one in jail... Nice. We are just getting missions left, right and centre. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, yeah, if you guys, if there's like six guys in here, four, five, or six guys just patrolling empty cells, um, what's the point? Just leave one guy in there if you really need to protect it, and send the rest out in the city. Or send them home on their shift, so then the mayor doesn't have to pay you, and and he can save some money, which can then go into affordable health care and education for the people. Okay, doesn't look like I want to go that way. What's up? What's up, dog meat? Do you like it here? I might have to leave you here, man. You might have to stay here with uh, with the good folks. Ah, oh, detective. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard from for my sale. cousin. He and knows a guy that works it. for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the freedom trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it, and that kind of talk is going to get you snatched up by the synths. Yeah. Newcomer, huh? Oh. Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history lesson. Stop in no synths right, so let's just see how many missions we've picked up there. One, two, three. Uh, we would have picked that one up, and we've picked that one up. So we've picked up about four, mi four missions just from hanging around talking to people. Um, not really too sure how I feel about that, but there you go. Okay, so if anyone's going to help us find Destiny, I imagine it will be this detective here, obviously. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Yo, what up? Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. Uh, okay. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Okay. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. The Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Okay, uh, yeah, sure. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Probably not his most distinctive features, though, if we're honest. This file here is cool. Uh, The Mysterious Stranger... 
Uh, sightings of a man dubbed the Mysterious Stranger have been popping up sporadically across the old US for years now. Best case, the man's an amoral lunatic. Worst case, a prol prolific serial killer. All anyone knows is his M.O. Appearing suddenly, killing without remorse, disappearing without a word. The Stranger has no known accomplices, no clear method for selecting his targets, no calling cards left behind. Sightings range from the NCR all the way to the East Coast, stretching back decades. Now he's come to the Commonwealth. Last thing this place needs is another psychopath running amok. Time to start putting together the pieces to put this one away. Description. Human male. Outfits vary, but most recent sightings describe a large overcoat and fedora. Guy has taste, I'll give him that much. One man, multiple men, a ghoul with minimal scarring. Might explain the long passages of, tw of time between sightings. Appears and disappears suddenly, suggesting pre preternatural infiltration abilities, access to advanced cloaking tech, all but earliest descriptions suggest the stranger uses only conventional arms, making infiltration training more likely. Perps like this make me wish the Institute had sprung for thermal detection before giving me the boot. Sighting locations, Commonwealth, Capital Wasteland, NCR, Shady Sands. That's cool. I'm gonna, this is coming with me. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. I am going to take your old case files. Alright, sweet. So, to make use of the detective, we have to find the detective. Awesome. Let's, uh, we'll figure that out next episode. This episode, we're just going to chill out in Diamond City and uh, get our affairs in order. I mean, let me turn off some of these missions. Oh, it's only the one, and it's only the one to find Nick, so that's fine. And that's a custom marker, so I'll get rid of that. Remove. Sweet. Cool. While I'm here, I am going to rob these guys blind of all their mute fruit. Sorry. And if you've got any corn, I'll be having that too. And... Tatoes. They're the other thing I'm looking for. Actually, let's just do this in the line. It's very generous of them to let me just steal all their food, but... I mean, I'm not going to complain. Seems like a very boring diet though, if you ask me. Tato! Nice! Cool. Oh! for over 150 years. And what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me, the wall, our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second is our faith and trust in each other, the faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at sins and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. Piece of shit. <laughs> Anything else? Can we go now? You read the paper? Damn sense. Hiding among us. Yeah, well, that was all just wrapped up by what he just said, so let's not let's not discuss that. Oh man, I'm going to need to find a place to sleep tonight. After I'm done stealing all the food. What's that? Food shortage in Diamond City? Uh, I don't know anything about it, mate. I don't know what you're talking about. Yoink! Right, is there anything else? Please say you've got a selection of corn that I can just uh, dip into real quick. No? No corn? Let me down, Diamond City. Okay. 
science center. Who's got? Oh, you. Officer. Broke up with my girl. She kept the cap off the toothpaste. Know who does that? A synth. Okay. All right. Let's find somewhere to crash for the evening. You keep an eye on that thing. I don't want to hear about anybody getting bit. He's armless. The dog's armless. He'll, he'll rather lick you to death than bite you to death. Trust. Two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really dead, I forgot you were there, Yakin. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. The best part of Diamond City is honestly the lights. They spot those bad boys for miles. Uh, well, I would have probably said it was the roof over our head and the uh, protection of a wall, but mm, oh, yeah, custom. sure, lights. Need a room? Yes, I would like to rent a room. You're in room two, just through the door. Awesome, awesome, sir. This is my room, is it? Up in the stands. Let's just say they can afford a lot of clothes. Yeah, Becky, that's nice and everything, but seriously, what are you doing in my room? Are you, is it, is, is this included? Ah, oh, what's he said? Right. Um. Okay, I am. What? I can't even take this alarm clock. Terrible. Yeah, you get out, man. This is my room. To Diamond City security being unhelpful. Just ignore him like I do. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, uh, and okay, she's just doing laps of the coffee table. Excellent. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. This has just been a short one, uh, trotting around Diamond City and picking up the uh, Nick Valentine mission. Uh, and in the next episode, we're probably going to go do that. So thank you very much for watching. Take it easy, guys. All the best, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.